Hey, it's Mrs. Scaland. We are going to learn all about color today. We're going to review the colors that we know, and we might learn some new ones. You might know them all, you might not. But follow along as we review our color and make sure that we know everything we need to know. These are the primary colors, red, yellow, blue. They are the colors you use to mix all the others. You cannot make them. They are already there. They are the first colors. Now we're going to learn about secondary colors. You mix two primary colors to make a secondary color. You'll see in the video as the two colors bump into each other and then they make a new color. Another color group you might not know about is when you mix one primary color plus one secondary color you get either a tertiary or an intermediate color. For example, red plus violet equals red violet. Yellow plus green equals yellow green. Red plus orange equals red orange. Yellow plus orange equals yellow orange. Blue plus green equals blue green. And blue plus violet equals blue violet. All of those are different tertiary or intermediate colors. Complementary colors are colors that are crossed from each other on the color wheel. They are colors that pair very well together. You might recognize some of the pairs. You'll notice that red and green are across from each other. Think about where you see those two colors a lot. You might see that blue and orange are across from each other. Yeah, you use blue and orange for a lot of sports teams. And so do you use yellow and violet. They're picking those colors because they really stand out and pop and contrast well together. So. Those are complementary colors. They are colors that are straight across from each other on the color wheel. Here are the warm and cool colors. The warm colors are represent things that are usually warm, red, orange, and yellow. The cool colors represent things that are usually cool, blue, violet, and green. Here are the neutral colors. Neutral colors are colors that are natural and kind of earthy. So black, brown, gray, and white. Here are the analogous colors. Analogous colors are neighbors on the color wheel. Here are some of the examples. You would have to look at the color wheel to come up with the other um, neighbors but you're looking at around the color wheel at three or four colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel that really blend well together. So if, for example, the top row here is red, red, orange, orange, and yellow, orange. The bottom row is blue, violet, blue, violet, and red. Those are just some of the, the examples. Sometimes you might only use three analogous colors, um, or you might use four, but you have to look at the color wheel to pick them. Analogous colors are not across from each other. Those are complementary, so don't get confused and get mixed up on that. Analogous colors have to be next door neighbors.
Our next group of colors are monochromatic colors. If you were to use a monochromatic color scheme, you would only pick one color hue and use different values of it. For example, the top row are all different values of green. The bottom row would be a different monochromatic um, scheme. It is all different values of violet. These are only two examples. You can use any color. You can do red and different values of red, different values of yellow, um, but you only use one color plus black and white to make the different values. To do the best you can, we just want to get kind of like a pie shape and have our colors go around in the correct order. That's the most important, okay? So follow along and draw your own. Pause the video when you need to. Initials of the color. So like Y is for yellow, YG is yellow green, and so on. So you might wanna do that along with me to help you know where to color. Do it really lightly with the pencil um, so you could cover it up later. Thank you. 